Okay, so thus far we have looked at elastic collisions and we saw that your k initial equals k final, meaning we didn't lose any kinetic energy. But in an inelastic collision, uh, we do lose uh, kinetic energy. So k final is less than k initial. Okay, but the question is, where does the kinetic energy go? Where does this kinetic energy go? So to answer this question, we have to look at the state of an object. And what is the state of an object? It is simply the condition of an object described by some physical parameters, such as shape and temperature. There are others, but we will initially just focus on these, the shape and the temperature. So if I say what's the state of an object, we want to look at what is the shape and what is the temperature. Okay. So in an inelastic collision, objects deform, right? You've got two cars that come at each other and they crumple when they, when they collide, meaning their shape has changed and also their, their temperature has changed. Okay. So we've got the change in shape, the change in temperature, and most of the time, the heat uh, goes up, for example. But the point is that in an inelastic collision, the state of an object changes. Okay? Now, in an inelastic collision, we have irreversible processes, which means what? Which means that, for example, if you've got a car that gets crumpled up, Okay, you just uh, just use your imagination. That's a car. Okay, and it gets crumpled up after a collision. If you remove it out of that collision, it won't automatically go back to its original position. That means it's irreversible. Okay, that means its state is permanently changed. It's got permanent changes to its state, whereas in a reversible process there is no permanent change so for example a spring a spring if you compress the spring you compress it and you let it go it will want to go back to its original position which means that that would be an elastic type collision and it is reversible okay what does this paragraph say it says um, with a change in relative speed, if there's a change in relative speed and therefore a change in the sum of kinetic energies, this goes hand in hand with a change in the state. Okay, so we say that the sum of the kinetic energies of two colliding objects doesn't change unless the state changes. Okay, so remember what we were saying was that. Um, some kinetic energy gets lost. Where does it go? Well, it only changes if the state changes. Okay, so you can have a look at this. Now, let's see. Uh, I think we'll stop for now. And in the next video, we will look at how state is related to internal energy. Okay, see you in the next one.